Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and this time I'm in Philadelphia. And before we get this party started, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Comment below, let me know you subscribe. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Folks, we're at an Acme. Well, actually, uh, it's a fairly new one. Uh, I believe it was 2020 when they finally were able to start working on it. It was formerly a Fresh Grocer, or The Fresh Grocer, which is uh, another brand, uh, or another banner that uh, is... Uh, supplied by Wakefern, so it's basically a shop, right? And we are in University City, Philadelphia, so I'm in a parking garage directly above the Acme. Now, the reason I've come here is uh, not just because it's a very unique Acme with its own parking garage, or that, you know, it's in University City, but it has a very unique decor. Up oh, there's that word again, Charleston Pinball. <laughs> but uh, it's got a very unique decor package that uh, I'd like to see this on some of the smaller uh, stores, such as uh, Haddonfield, for instance. I think it would really go over well there. So uh, we take a walk in here, and uh, I ditched that uh, shopping cart. I basically uh, brought it with me because uh, I didn't want it denting my car. <laughs> Hey, I still got uh, a couple of years more payments on that thing. But we're going to take a walk inside, and we do see that quality built um, uh, our store hour sign, but uh, that's about all the quality built you're going to see here. I don't know what to call this um, uh, decor package. I like the polished concrete, gives it more of an industrial feel. And uh, the signage for all the uh, um, uh, different departments kind of has you know, a little bit of a retro feel to it. So it's uh, very interesting. Now, because this is in the heart of University City, this place was packed. This was Labor Day weekend, and uh, parents are dropping their kids off at uh, college. And, uh, of course... Uh, you got a lot of uh, young people, young minds full of mush, if you will. <laughs> um, I like those aisle markers. They're pretty cool. Instead of farm stand, this is, I like better, farm to market. That just, it sounds kind of cool the way they did it there with those big letters. And you, you, you don't have... Uh, you have more of an exposed uh, um, uh, ceiling. You don't have those ceiling tiles, so, except for the drop ceiling there within the uh, service departments. So it gives it, you know, kind of an industrial feel. I do like this decor. I, there's that word again. <laughs> I really like this. I don't know what it's called, but it is more, um, more colorful in some respects you know it's not all the earth tones of uh, quality built it uh, does harken back to Acme's uh, um, history it has a little bit about the history there on the walls it's got a little retro coolness um, except for that little uh, you know, little um, uh, crack or that little chip on that one uh, piece of uh, display there that where's the milk other than that is very well kept this is neat now in a previous video I talked about how Albertsons has two million dollars to spend on a renovation project for the Haddonfield Acme well if anyone from Albertsons Acme Markets whatever is listening uh, might I suggest you guys uh, give this one a try or some variation of this thereof. I must say it was really neat. Now, I really don't like venturing into the city that much, but if I was a local, this would so be my store. It just seems so cool. Really. I am gushing over this decor package <laughs> and why not it really looks nice 
I mean, this does not look like any Acme you've ever seen before. Now, I hear some of the uh, um, Jewel Oscos in Chicago and uh, Shaw's in, like, the big cities in New England. I hear they use something similar to this. And honestly, this is a really good decor package to use for your uh, your city smaller markets and stuff at this time i'm a little bit hungry it took a it took a short drive from new jersey to get here and this is really the first stop on my uh, trip so i figured i'd uh, grab a little munchies and i think if i remember correctly yep i do I eventually settled on oh that, that chicken was smelling good I think I settled on a protein pack like I got at the Haddonfield store. And, uh, as a matter of fact, that's what I did. And, uh, then I had to grab a little drink to go with it. Uh, and, uh, I'm pretty sure I grabbed a drink here. Soda tax and all. <laughs> yeah, Philadelphia has a soda tax or sugary drink tax where you you pay a little extra per ounce because, of course, you know, they're looking out for your health or they really want your money <laughs> as if you don't have enough money you're spending when you live in a big city. Yep. So I'm looking and uh, looking and, yep. Got me a monster, the low carb one. And if there is any drawback to this particular store, you're looking at it right now. This is a, quite a long line here for the checkouts. Something ought to be done about that. I know, I just stood here and waited and waited. And looked around because I was getting bored. And waited. And this was really the only drawback to the entire store. You fix this one thing, Acme Albertsons, and uh, you pretty much got an A. A++ even. But I'm looking around. do 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 Bored, 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 bored. You know, I got this stuff, you know, I want to pay some money, you know. You you know, shut up and take my money, as uh, Fry says, you know. <laughs> and I'm just standing here. And I'm just standing here, waiting in line. And so I sped this up for you, because even I got sick of this. <laughs> and then finally we get to a register when I'm self-checkout. I love those, because they ain't going to notice my uh, hidden camera apparatus. And, uh, yeah, before we leave here, I got a couple things I need to do. So, I'm going to walk out. And, uh, you know, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to walk out, and I'm going to get a picture for the thumbnail. And this gives you an idea of the neighborhood, if you will, that the store is in. Yeah, this is a far cry from your normal neighborhood Acme. Um, I do like the uh, the graphics there, kind of uh, putting a little uh, link to Philadelphia because you know, Acme is a Philadelphia store. It's where it started in 1891, and despite their ownership by Albertsons, which is based out, I believe, in Iowa, um, they still are true to their Philadelphia roots. So we're gonna cross the street here. And, uh, by the way, my name is Jay, government name, so I'm jaywalking. <laughs> well, hey, you know, someone's going to accuse me of that, so I might as well just say I'm just doing what I'm doing. And, yeah, this was a little too close for me, so I figured I'd get a little further out. I'm checking my phone here. Just, oddly enough, I don't use that phone anymore. I just uh, switched to my new uh, 5G phone, which is tons quicker. Tons quicker. 
just switched this past week, so I'm gonna, after waiting, I actually was a good boy this time and waited for late to change. I put up my uh, phone, looked around, just trying to see if I could back up maybe a little bit, and then snapped a few uh, shots. And now I'm in a hurry. I got like a few more stores I got to do. So yeah, say what you want. I'm gonna go jaywalking because I'm Jay and I'm walking. <laughs> but uh, after this uh, Ultima, this big Ultima energy passes me, I am gonna walk a little closer to the Acme. I want to show you something that I saw. Again, I told you, this used to be the Fresh Grocer, which is a Wakefern or Shoprite brand. And there's really no traces of the Fresh Grocer left here, except for the Acme sign. You see the uh, label scarf from the Fresh Grocer. Incidentally, I do intend on taking a trip to one of the Fresh Grocer stores. Now, they're, as far as I know, they're all in Pennsylvania. But, uh, hey... Field trip. <laughs> As we walk down the street, you know, most of the buildings are pretty much skyscrapers or, you know, two, three, four multi story places. But uh, as I turn over to my left, I did see a uh, Mansard Roof McDonald's. That's become an endangered species. Uh, maybe we should uh, profile uh, the old school McDonald's and Burger Kings on this. Uh, channel what do you think well folks that's a wrap for this uh university city acme video anyway like share subscribe ring the bell tell a friend have a great day i'll see you on the next video i can't believe i got in this place